This is Twit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a call for help. Let's go to Charlotte, North Carolina. I had some of the best barbecue I've ever had in my life in Charlotte, mm. North Carolina. Mike is on the line. Man. Hi, Mike. Hello, how are you? I am great. I'm thinking you have a little one, either that or you like toys. Uh, both of those are true. Um, <laughs> but I have some toys back there in the basement and some art my uh, my daughter made. So. And, oh. and the NASA T-shirt, I think I saw. Oh, there, so. look at that! Yes, that's correct. I to approve. That's the that's the meatball too. And, that's the best and logo. an Apple Watch to boldly go mm -hmm. where no watch has gone before. So what can correct. we do for you, Mike? Um, so I have a, a, I think a great question. I've been waiting for either um, Renee Ritchie or Jason to be on to ask this specific thing. <laughs> Perfect. I, and I, I think also that his answer is going to be there isn't a good answer, which uh -oh. is a good uh -oh. thing so we can bring, you know, Apple to the table to fix this. So my question is, we're an all Apple household and um, we use the photos and our... Uh, of course, our iPhones, etc. cetera. Um, but we'd like all our photos to go to one place. So if I'm traveling and I take a picture, it automatically is synced up so they can see it. And then for not disaster recovery purposes, but one place my wife can have all the family photos um, that she can manipulate them um, on her iMac. And so far, I've tried scripting the raw files. I've tried <laughs> um, using um, streaming, uh, I'm sorry, um, things like that. And then the one thing I think the Apple solution is, is the family shared. That's right. Or whatever it's called. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and that is only a drag and drop feature. So yep. you, there's no way that every picture I take automatically is in that location. Uh, and this seems like something Apple would be a no-brainer for them to do. Um, if I use Google Photos or something else, um, I lose live photo capability. So you lose something oh, with every option. Oh, yeah, because that would be my recommendation. I use Google Photos yeah. all the time. And, and unfortunately, that is right now the best fallback is yeah. to all is to sync everybody to Google Photos because at least that'll be a shared library. You could even use the same Google ID or you could use Google sharing feature, which is, I'm not sure if that's out yet, but they've announced it. The good yeah, news the sharing feature here, is now available. Here, yeah. I mean, this is not good news, but the good news is iOS 11 brings in this new feature which allows a family to share one account's storage space that they purchase, which means you no longer need to uh -huh. buy an extra storage plan for every device in your household. It's great. And what we used to do is we'd get one account, one iCloud account, and everybody would log yeah. into it. But Apple's made that too difficult now. And it's you a can't bad it idea now. because, I, well, I was getting my son's text messages. And yeah. it, you know, we'll find my not, friends breaks down at that yeah. point because there's only every, one person on only, an Apple ID. We're all in, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you get a family account, you set it up, you can share space now, which I used to have to pay Does it separately. Have to, can you take one of your accounts and delegate it as the family account, or do you have to create a new account? No, you you. Set one of your accounts as the master account for okay. the uh, for the family, and uh, that's awesome. And then you say, "Here's my family members," and you put them in there. And then you can say in iOS 11, "Share my space." Oh. The bad news oh. is the space total number is shared, but oh. no data sharing goes on, which is great for privacy. But what it means is Apple's got us with separate photo libraries oh. still. And uh, you know, I, I would say, Mike, that. Um, you and I probably were both really hoping for the same thing, which is that should have a this was going to be the year that iCloud photo libraries could be shared, and it's not. Yes, because I'm willing to pay the money. I, I bought the two terabyte plan. Like all I want, I'll, I'll pay for the service. I want this the photos to magic go there, and it seems yeah. like such an Apple thing to do. They all have families, um, <laughs> so I'm hoping even if we don't come to a good conclusion that they're watching at least one of them yeah. and uh, and says yes, this is important. It's it's um, the and you mentioned family the family shared photos, which when I write about this same issue, when I've written about it and I've complained about it, the uh, people say, well, there's that family shared photo album. Not only do you have to manually add photos to that photo album, but it, they're down -res. They are not high resolution photos. So you can't use it and then copy them over to your master library, ma even manually, because you won't get the full resolution photo. So I don't have a good solution. What happens in my household a lot of the time is that well, the good news is, at least now that everybody's on my two terabyte storage plan, um, they can all sync all their photos into the cloud on their own iCloud photo libraries, and they won't be lost if something happens to their phone, which is what would happen to my daughter if she lost those. So that's good, but in reality, yeah, um, we either plug phones into the master photo library every now and then and import the photos across a USB cable. Or Wait a minute. The other way to do it is Google Photos. 
It does say when you set up your family that a f joint family photo album is created. Yes, that's the, that's the one it's, he's talking about. But you have to, you have to add photos to, to it manually. You have to manually put stuff in there. And they're not full resolution. They're a down res version. And if you're, you're like our family, if you're 70 gigs behind catching up, um, I've tried You'll to never drag finish. and drop you know, gigs at a time. Yeah. It, it never works. You'll never, so, right, because it's uh, a separate transfer. It's not just pulling it out of the cloud. It's making a separate transfer. It's not good. So I, I, we can rail about this all we like. The, the bottom line is, yeah, either doing it by wire, which is not fun, to the master account, or something like Google Photos, where you're creating another library in parallel, but you get to do kind of unlimited at, the, at, at a decent resolution. And at least it's a place where everybody can see the photos. But, and then and meanwhile, back up everybody's, everybody do iCloud photo library syncing in the meantime, because they're, uh, if they're sharing your two terabytes, that means that they can, um, they can at least have a backup of the full resolution version. But it's a mess, yeah. So Google Photos is my fallback right now, which is at least you could all see all of your photos yeah, and together. Yeah, all you lose is the live capability. Yeah. You know what you could say is, hey, if you, really, if you really like one of these, I got the live version, I can send it to you. Yeah, and you can airdrop it. That's kind of what it. I yeah. do with Google Photos is, because it also downsizes it a little bit. I don't notice the difference. Only if you've got a very high resolution. It, it doesn't seem to make it much worse. Yeah. But I always say to Lisa, well, these are all the photos, but if you want any the raw file of any of these, just which ask. I'm not saying, just ask. And oh yeah, and that way, you know, you kind of get the best of both worlds. And for my daughter, who's 15, takes a lot of selfies, takes a lot of photos. One of the nice things about adding her in iOS 11 to our shared storage, that two terabytes of storage, is at least now we can say sync your photos and manage storage on your device. So her phone doesn't fill up I with photos it. and videos, and they're yeah. all in the cloud. Yeah. So we we aren't able to share them directly yet, but at least they're there, and she's not going to lose her photos that she's taking with her friends, um, which was a problem when she only had the five gig backup. Uh, that, that comes with a device. The other downside about the shared family uh, album is it's limited to 5,000 photos and yeah. videos. That's a very small number yeah. if you've got a... So, very small. Now, what Google's going to do is Google's got a family sharing system that works a little differently across Google IDs. and It's it, smart. It does face recognition. Yeah. So I can say, anytime I take a picture of Lisa, share, share that with, with her Lisa. automatically, yeah. which is just fantastic. So, she's always, when we get back from trips, she's always saying, well, did you get any good pictures of me? Now she gets them all. Now it doesn't go into her library. My understanding is it goes into a shared album that right. she would she need to, to add to her library. Album. You don't have a yeah. common library, which right. is definitely what my That's wife and fine. I would like to have, but well, it's better than what Apple's providing. Yeah. And one of the reasons Apple, I asked Apple about this last year, and they said it's hard because you there are lots of use cases where you don't want to share everything, which is what Google's trying to do with face recognition. Right. I feel like Apple's going to get there, and maybe the first step is sharing your iCloud space. So maybe that's like step one and step two will be actually sharing photo libraries. But, you know, it's going to be another year at least before that happens. So there are the other meantime. third party. I mean, the live photos thing, only Apple's going to support live photos. Right. But there are well, other third party solutions like Google, if you didn't want to store on Google. Uh, we've talked before about Shutterfly. Our, when Scott Bourne, our photographer friend was here, he said, you know, Shutterfly is unlimited free full quality uploads. And you could put a Shutterfly al uh, app on all of your uh, phones and and log into the same account and then you'd have one account with right. all the photos. Dropbox in it. will do it if you've got a if you're paying sure. for a terabyte on Dropbox, yeah. you could put all the yeah. photos there. But that would the work. The nice thing about Shutterfly, it's like Google Photos, it's free. Amazon Prime yeah. is free if you're an Amazon Prime member. So having an unlimited amount of storage somewhere, at least yeah. for backup. And that's and that's the thing that I really advise is if you try out one of these services, if you've got access to the Amazon library, if you've got access to the Google Photos library. You can do that and still be syncing all of your high-res originals with iCloud. Right. And iCloud is going to be the place that you know you've got a version of that file in case something happens to your phone. But you may be able to use Amazon or Google as a front end to share or to you know to use their kind of services just for the like the the animations that Google makes in Google Photos right. that are fun. Um, so you could do that while still having the full res version. I, ha I have to say as as. Sad as it is, it doesn't do exactly uh, what you want, Mike. They've come a long way. iCloud has come a long way. iCloud Photo Drive has come a long way from where it was. Well, the fact, fact that we believe that you can trust your photos to sync yeah. to iCloud, Even I that. would never have said that four years yeah. ago, but they've, they, it's a lot better. It's just that the features, the family sharing feature is just still missing. It's three years and still missing. But that's one minor, not maybe minor, but one piece compared. I mean, they've reached parity in some respects in terms of 
the Photos app, and this stuff is all done on the phone, which is great. Right, it's doing in terms of recognition learning, and location, recognition. It creation now syncs, of albums. It now syncs your facial recognition training across devices. So if you say this is a photo of Jerry, yeah, then uh, it, knows. it knows on all your devices that that's a photo yeah, of Jerry. Yeah. So I have to say they, they've gotten a, a lot better. Uh, they've made some real progress, and I think there's hope that they might finally get this piece of the. This puzzle. is the direction they're heading. They just I, I I share your disappointment that I thought this would be the year. I yeah. thought they would really do it this year, and when they they didn't mention it at their developer conference in June, it's like ah, oh, so close. Mike, you're obviously a very sophisticated Mac user, Apple user, so uh, you just pretended to want to know the answer to this question, right? He's trying to shake the tree. Well, no, I actually thought there might be some nugget. Maybe I Maybe magic, to. some magic. Yeah. 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 I wish. Okay, so I, can I ask a follow-up part of the question? Sure. We pray. So um, if you were going to do, you said a USB cable, so I can't fit everything on my phone, right? But if I actually was to export in a manner to a USB device, a USB 3.0 device that had uh, enough capacity and then import via cable, um, how... What was the export function you would use? You don't want to drag and drop them. Is there a file export? What would oh, you use? What I'm to thinking do that? is you have one Mac that's running Photos, the Photos app that is syncing to iCloud Photo Library, and your account, let's say, is already hooked up, so you don't need to attach it to your Mac and import photos. But every month or so, your wife's camera, your ch your children's cameras, whatever iPhones they've got, you would plug them into that same Mac and choose import. Sure and just bring in yeah. all those folders. And we do that with my daughter, and we do that with my wife's iPhone. And it's not great, but it does mean that every month or two, um, their photos get put into the giant master photo library where I'm it can be intermingled. That's the problem, is that I'm, I, I've, I've not done that, so I'm months and months behind, so I've got to catch up somehow, or pray they're going to solve it in a year and not worry about it, yeah. and then someday they'll magically <laughs> glob everything together. <laughs> We're all just praying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Apple, you can do it. But you know, I decided that Apple's a new religion, so go ahead and pray to St. Steve. He'll hear your prayers. <laughs> he will. They designed the Apple stores here. like cathedrals oh, for crying dear. around. They got apses. I mean, wow. It's a, oh, gonna it's a classic uh, architecture, it's man. It's classic architecture, yeah. I'd like to see a cathedral with glass, all glass walls. Oh, me too. And you know they don't want, they don't want, <laughs> they don't want you looking in. Thank you, Mike. Great to talk to you again. Take Thank care. you very much, gentlemen.